Hi, I'm T. Nguyen, Program Director of Career Development at UCSF's Office of Career and Professional Development. Thanks for your interest in creating an IDP using the My IDP tool. In this video, I will help you go through the first step of the My IDP tool, assessments. Let's get started. Go to myidp.sciencecareers.org. This tool is hosted by AAAS. The authors are listed below and there is no conflict of interest. No one profits from this. If you're a first time user, go ahead and click on first time here. All that's required is a username, email address, and password. While research might be done on aggregated data, no one involved in this project will share any personally identifiable information without your consent. If you're already registered, enter your password and we'll get started. I'll give you a quick tour before beginning the self-assessment. The four steps of this structured approach are the major sections of the toolbar on the left. Assessment, career exploration, setting goals, implement plan. Let's start with assessment. Click on skills assessment. The skills assessment helps you identify scientific and professional skills and knowledge that one, you're proficient in, and two, you will need to set goals around in order to improve. As you fill out the skills assessment, keep two points in mind. Give yourself a range. Don't rate yourself terrible at everything or great at everything. Use the entire scale from one to five where five is highly proficient. Ideally, you'll use your peers as a reference as you rate yourself on these skills. So feel free to pause the video now and take the skills assessment. Great, you finished the first assessment. The summary of your scientific and professional skills are presented in this table. You may want to set goals around improving some of these skills, and the setting goals video will cover this. But for now, take a look at your fives and at your ones. Check if these tasks reflect the skills you're good at or deficient in. Feel free to refine your assessment by going back to the assessment tab. It will be most helpful to end up with a focused list of skills. Let's move on to the interests assessment. Click on interest assessment on the side toolbar. Skills and interests are both about tasks. Skills are tasks on a range of what you're good at or not good at. Interests are tasks on a range of what you like doing or don't like doing. Go ahead and click on my assessment. As you fill out the interest assessment, keep these two points in mind. The interest assessment is intended to help you define tasks you enjoy doing and also would like to avoid. As you fill out this assessment, use the full range of scores from 1 to 5, where 5 is, I'd like to do this often in my career. Remember, these are tasks related to a broad range of science careers, not just for being a PI. Go ahead and pause the video. Take the interests assessment. Great! You finished the interest assessment. This is a summary table of your interests, again, with five showing you'd like to do this often in your career, and one is I'd never like to do this in my career. You can again refine these by going back to my assessment. Now, let's go ahead and complete the values assessment. While the last two assessments were about tasks involved in the work, values help you rank the rewards and outcomes you want from the work. It informs you of job conditions that may keep you motivated or define environments that you're likely to function best in. The values assessment may be a little harder to rank, but give it a shot. And remember, be discriminatory. Go ahead and click on my assessment. Now for the values assessment in particular, it's tempting to rank a lot of fives. So try to rank six fives or essential for my career. Feel free to pause the video now and take the values assessment. The summary of your self-assessment for values is presented in this table. Review your list of fives and ones and feel free to adjust your table at any time. Now you've finished the skills, interests, and values assessments. What you've done is assemble a data set about yourself that can be used to help you choose a career. Click on Consider Career Fit. Click on My Career Path Matches. In this tab, you'll see that the tool used the results from your skills and interests to create a ranked list of 20 science-related career paths that might be a good fit. In the next video, we'll go over the steps of how to use this list and how to understand these results to help you gather information, 
and gain confidence about choosing a path or set of paths that might be the best fit for you. Congratulations on getting started.